I want to have a girl who I like really respect her opinion and that's beautiful. like a, a best friend. Oh. I wish you were a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the Summer House After Show. Are you positive? Because if you're not, it's way easier to call off or postpone a wedding than it is to get divorced yeah. two months later. The problem is, is I have no. this like wild capacity for <laughs> and drama. Had that topic of conversation ever come up behind closed doors? There was a particular instance I remember very vividly. When are you gonna have sex with my friend? Literally never. Ain't nobody worried about Jesse. He needs to be worried about him. Make sure he's safe over there, okay? Show me this. Jesse doesn't have to do they just literally flock to him. If you were in a club, you saw Jesse Solomon, would you? The Summer House After Show starts right now. Kyle gets a special role in Carl and Lindsay's wedding. I was floored, floored. I really wanted you to be a part of our wedding. And I'd be honored. I would love for you to be a flower boy. But I'm not a grandson. Flower boy. With two other guys. He wasn't even one of one. He was one of three. Three flower men? What the f is a flower boy? They're supposed to be kids. Yeah, like that's a kick in the nuts. He's a 42 year old man with a mullet. Why would he be a flower boy? A part of me feels like it was like a f from Lindsay. <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes they don't get along. Yeah. When people who are actual assholes and actual bitches Get their way, oh my it God. honestly makes me sick. Good luck to my best friend, because you're a psycho. <laughs> Could have been like Lindsay being like, let's make Kyle the flower boy, knowing it was like a shot at him, and Carl was like, oh, that's a nice honor. Let's do it. <laughs> it was an adult only resort, no children allowed. Okay. We can't have flower girls or boys. And so I was like, Kyle, they were still repairing their relationship over oh, summer. So he was not in there. And so we wanted to figure out a way. <laughs> so you made him a flower boy? So I was like, why don't we have flower boys and you can make Kyle a flower boy? All right. I'm just gonna jump in and say, the thought of not having Kyle to be in our wedding, like I, I couldn't wrap my head around that at all. Like it, the thought was, why don't we find, you know, three of your friends that are also like wedding party material to be flower boys like I'm honestly like kind of embarrassed about it because like where we've been and where we like what we've been through as friends and like what he's done for me and like the thought of not having him there or being a part of it like that is just it's absolute insanity and I, I'm I glad he was willing to roll with the punches on I, it but it was it, it was an, it was until, it was a weird thing deciding how to do that I will say and I'm it, sure a lot of people that get married struggle with it well it wasn't until people asked me about it they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. he was like you're essentially your best man with your brother, like a co-best man, any officiate your wedding, and you're gonna like throw some petals out at his? That was when I was like, oh yeah, it's like that is a pretty big disparity. Kyle's <laughs> gonna cry about this at a later date. And Amanda and I, was sitting there with a straight face. I tried to just be supportive of it because the last thing I wanted to do was make Kyle feel like worse about it. He would do amazing. Yeah. He'd do, I would give him like little pigtails with his mullet. Like, like a little flower yeah, in his ear. Yeah, we'd give him like, yeah, maybe Super, he had like yeah. a little, we'd make it, it would be the best flower boy ever. Carl officiated their wedding. You couldn't make him a groomsman? Carl didn't stand up for his friend like, I'm not making this man a flower boy. <laughs> like, well, I'm not Carl doing couldn't it. couldn't talk all summer. Yeah, I would say like officiant and best man are like neck and neck for highest honor, and then groomsmen are the guys behind that, and flower boys and yeah. ushers are like honorable mentions. Oh, I've been mentions. asked to be an usher a couple times, and you're always like, ugh. No, it means like you're important, but not important enough to be a groomsman. Dude, I was actually the worst usher in the history of weddings, actually. I was up, and I walked his grandparents down, and I just thought that was my only job, and I sat down with his grandparents. <laughs> and just looked at this stage for 20 minutes, and they were like, is he gonna come back up and like walk other people? I never them. did. Yeah, you ushered them. Obviously, we weren't gonna have Kyle officiate because that would have been the most long-winded wedding oh my of God, all we time. Oh my God, we were standing up there for hours. So we were like, I was like, why don't we have- You want to include him. Correct. And this is nice. before he started his DJ things. It's funny. Okay, now it makes sense. Now <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's, again, like, Jesus. I, I do think it's a little I'm weird. I'm tired. <laughs> I, needed, I needed the explanation. I'm so nice. I know Kyle would have loved 
more than anything to be a bigger part in the wedding. But Lindsay severed a lot of his friendships and cut a lot of people out of his life. And they just like were no longer as close as they used to be. Mm -hmm. And and listen, I'm not, I don't want to. I'm not trying to blame her at all in this. Like it's there was obviously the, the previous twelve months were very awkward and not great for Kyle and I. Yeah, I mean, I I think the biggest sign of it all is we actually did get married. So <laughs> I'll but, tell you what, though, if that wedding did go down, I would have been the best flower boy ever. The the internet would have broken. I mean, those flower boys were, would have been pretty cool, but. I think it, at the end of the day, it's, it's something we don't have to really worry about. It's part of you know, our, our friendship journey. And when I actually do get married, this man will be right there with me. And I might even throw flowers anyway. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he's Miley Cyrus. He's going to bring his own flowers. Jesse, you kind of break bro code because you end up spilling that uh. West and Sierra haven't had sex. They're not having sex, so. I don't need to ask them, but I'm sure oh, that's the, one okay, day. That was the update I was <laughs> looking for. I don't know if bro code is real, but if you were friends with Jesse Solomon, it's not. How is that I mean, breaking I, bro code? I don't. I don't know if that's breaking bro. Code. Breaking I mean, it's bro just, code. It's just something like, I told you. Wes just f some other chick last weekend. <laughs> that would be breaking bro code. <laughs> I just stayed out of it, and it was like I, the one <laughs> thing about her. her you definitely making, stayed out of it. <laughs> ain't nobody worried about Jesse. Honestly, Jesse's the horniest person I've ever met. Yeah, had. like <laughs> he's worried about me. He needs to be worried about him. Make sure he's safe over there, okay? Um, yeah, wrap it up. He was uh, super patient, and if anything, I was like just trying to push Sierra because it was like I either want this guy f***ing single with me and ripping it, yeah. or like dating Sierra, and there was like this weird in between. Imagine we f***ed, and then he's like, okay, I'm over it. Like yeah. they they want to chase, but then they but they want the kill right away. It did feel very coupley without that component, but I also was still trying to like catch a vibe and see who the f he was, you know. Uh, yeah, I think you can wait as long as you want, and you can also not wait as long as you want. Of course, Wes is like, oh, like, is she going to sleep with me? And uh, Jesse's obviously going to relay the information to me because Jesse can't hold water. And what did he do? J exactly that. When are you going to have sex with my friend? At yeah. this rate, literally never. What? I don't care. I mean, what? We live in this house. I already know my is about to be talked about like the plague. Like, we already know, you know? Honestly, whenever ever anyone says something, they might as well just send it in the group text because everyone's gonna <laughs> know. I would love if we started doing Yeah, that. because let's show it. We can Our keep... group chat is very cordial. Yeah, we, so just so everyone can be abreast of what's happening at all times. I'm gonna start dropping bombs in the group yeah, chat. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna text you. He came. He did it. <laughs> we were close, but not like quite. Like. Yeah, you want to start sending picture examples. Oh my god. <laughs> we have two group chats. Summer house and we, summer home. We have summer house, which is everyone. And then when Carl and Lindsay decided to break up, we needed a safe space to talk about our kickball league. And we didn't think they wanted to join our kickball league. So no, we, we didn't did ask. Summer them. home. Yeah. yeah. And that's where we planned our schedules, <laughs> talked all yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. The game's canceled tonight, yeah. they forfeited, we won. I wonder whether you'll ever go back. No, we're back, okay. we're back in Summer House. We're back in our yeah. Summer House group chat. Got it. The um, group chat with me, Sierra, Amanda, and Kyle is the one that no one will yeah, ever see. Yeah, that one's interesting. That's a good one. Which one? It's me, Amanda, Paige, and Kyle. Yeah, because Kyle likes to be included. Kyle, come on. He reads, reads, He gets reads, FOMO. Voice note. He gets FOMO. Yeah. Oh. The, the three minute long voice, voice note. Voice note. It's yeah. basically a TED talk. Yeah. Or like, I'm so glad I listened to your podcast today. Yeah. Sometimes he gets real protective in it too. He's like, "You girls, you." Then I'm like, "I love you it when you go dad mode." Us. Yeah. Let's talk Italian night. I wasn't there. Yeah, I mean, Paige, she just is like, "I'm rich, so like we're gonna do this the Paige way," yeah. and got like a sick bartender. The food was yeah. really good. Everybody dressed up nicely. What'd uh, you wear? I had like linen pants and a white short sleeve button down. That's nice. Some people thought I looked like one of the waiters, but <laughs> some people thought I looked cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was it was it was fun. Allora, allora, Paige, we're really grateful. Allora. Allora. Andrea and Carl ruined my dinner by wearing tank tops. Yes, I remember it. I was really upset and offended by it. It was an elevated south of Italy dinner. It was not a play on Jersey Shore. Honestly, they were making fun of my culture and I didn't love it. 
Andre is Italian. I know, which was even more offensive coming from him. I was wearing a Prada dress for crying out loud. Yeah. I had it catered. No, it was not okay. Fee and do you want to know the best in. part? We didn't have to clean up after it. No one said, when are we going to clean? Blah, 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 blah. Paige, what time do you think you'll do dishes? <laughs> Before we go out or after? Oh, Wes. <laughs>